Basics of Living Things. Molly! Olivia! Victoria! Jessica! Number one! Living things are composed of cells. These are some cells. Single, as you can see, have everything they need, but multicellular, on the other hand, can't provide for themselves. That is why specialization comes in to the multicellular cells to complete the cell. Number two, living things have different levels of organization. A tissue is any of the distinct types of material of which animals or plants are made, consisting of specialized cells and their products. Making up tissues are organs. An organ is a distinct part of an organism that performs one or more specialized function. Organs make up organ systems. An organ system is a group of organisms that work together to perform a certain task. Organ systems make up organisms. Organisms are an individual animal, plant, or single-celled life form. And once you have an organism, you have an animal or a plant. Number three, living things use energy. When they write, when they sing, when they drink and digest, when they run. What is energy? A chemical that provides for the body. Energy provides the body's ability to function properly. A plant's main source of energy is the sun. By using the sun's energy, a plant can undergo photosynthesis. Number four, living things respond to their environment. Hey environment, hey what? Hey environment, hey what? Let me see you get down. No way, let me see you get down. Okay, E-N-V-I-R-O-N-A-E-N-T. Woo! E-N-V-I-R-O-N-A-E-N-T. Woo! Bird, it's cold. All better now. One example of responding to the environment is the anglerfish. This creature lives in an environment where it is incredibly deep and dark. To respond, it has developed a bioluminescence. This rod of light provides the fish with protection, warmth, and a way to find food. Number five, living things grow. Animals grow before they're even born. Embryo in uterus at four weeks, fetus in uterus at eight weeks, fetus in uterus at 12 weeks, fetal twins in fifth month in normal position, fetus in uterus in seventh month in normal position. I'm sorry to interrupt your program, but this is breaking news. People are going rapidly in downtown Nashville. <laughs> Number six, living things reproduce. Cells develop in the process of meiosis and mitosis, as you can see here. Welcome back, folks. Today on the show, we will be introducing the up-and-coming silent film star, Jessica Long. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Have a seat. So, Jessica, tell me more about your film. Well, it's pretty much this classic boy meets girl story. They meet, they fall in love, they get married, and they have a kid. And what's the title of the film called? Reproduction at its finest. Oh yeah, okay, so I think we've all prepared a clip here, so let's take a look. Team took care of the rapidly growing people, everyone started multiplying. Oh gosh! This is the HHS News, and I'm leaving you with this. What is the world coming to? Number seven Living things adapt to their environment. Here are some examples Migration. Okay. Hibernation and camouflage. 